Okay. <laughs> um, is it okay if I turn the power off now? Yep. Yeah, I, I okay. shut down all the computers and the TV is off. Comes a point when you wish you had three hands. Sweet tool. I like that tool. Yeah, they're handy. They used to be super expensive. We used to buy Greenlee brand. Uh -huh. That's, they were the only ones that made it. Now you can get on Amazon and find them made in China and they're fairly reliable actually. A lot cheaper. Yeah. Well, I don't do enough of it, but that sure would have been handy when I needed it. Yeah. I think I drove, drove four big holes like that and three smaller ones yeah with a, a, a regular old hole saw yeah noisy sometimes they slip scratch up the paint cut yeah. you and everything else oh and they leave little burrs everywhere too yeah. you got a I, I, whenever i'm doing that i always have a vacuum cleaner running Put a plug in for you. What's the name of your business? Holbrook Electric LLC. Okay. And you're in Dayton, Texas? I'm in New Caney, Texas. New Caney. Okay. Yes, sir. Look at that. It fit. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that should get a lot better. Got a lot of room. flat on one side. Yeah, it's barely. As hot as it's been, it could have just loosened itself up. Yeah. 
That's the first time I ever had to bend those kind of wires too. Yeah. I'm surprised you don't use gloves. But my hands are already scarred up enough. Yeah. That's your neutral, right? Yes, sir. <clears throat> it's just a hassle working people. I've, I've had a large contract in business at one time. My first year in business, I did 100 homes. Uh, we were wiring custom homes out on Lake Conroe. And... Uh, we, I had eight guys and trucks running in a big shop and lots of overhead and it just, uh, I saw the switch move. All done except the testing. One twenty five on one leg, one twenty five on the other. Two forty. 250. 250. Okay. All right. Okay. Let me try to explain what's going on here. Uh, I've got two lines running out to my solar uh, room, and one of them is carrying the grid back to the solar room, and the other is bringing the output of the inverter over here to this switch. So the we intercepted the grid in this box here. That's the main panel for the house. And we just cut it, brought it into this box. And these first two terminals here are the grid coming in from uh, the service. Okay. And then immediately we turn that around and send that down out to the solar room. And then from the solar room, we've got uh, goes up this side into the top of the switch so on the bottom of the switch is grid the top of the switch is solar right now it's set for grid uh, and uh, that's pretty much it the center terminals are the load which is the house so uh, inputs one to two and then output the house so anyhow that that's pretty much it uh, I double log this to uh, keep from having to splice anywhere and that, that worked out really well brought the grid over lugged it and then uh, tied in and sent the grid out to the to the other uh, the solar room so that's uh, that's how this works and uh, I had it done by a professional so that uh, anybody has any questions about it I can show that it was done Okay, I just installed these uh, CTs. Uh, I put them out here where the grid comes into the building. Uh, it's kind of cramped for space, so I put, uh, I think this is L2 down here, L1 up here, and then I, I ran the, the Cat5 cable through there. And I'm about ready to close this up because uh, they're predicting rain today. But uh, inside, I just rolled everything up. 
yeah, just rolled everything up, bundled them up separately. I don't know if, if having them coiled together would interfere or not, but I didn't want to take a chance. So they're coiled up separately into the different bundles. And they come up through here into the, the CT plug.